Um, it's hard to believe it's been two months since that mom of five went for a run and never came home, Rachel Morin. Beautiful woman and just a grisly, filthy, horrifying crime scene. On a running trail, Ma and Pa Trail, Bel Air, Maryland. Place where you would not expect that to happen. And then it turned out the DNA that the killer left at the scene matched DNA from a home invasion in LA. Well, now we got somewhere and there was video of the man leaving that home invasion. There it is. Look closely at the pocket. Look closely at the pocket. You can see a cell phone. So why do we not have an arrest? Why don't we have a suspect yet? Why is this all we have? It's a good question. I want to bring in now the man in charge of the investigation, Harford County's Sheriff Jeffrey Gaylor. Um, Sheriff, thank you so much for, for being with me. I am told that that investigators have spoken to someone in the D.C. area today, connected to the case. What does that mean, connected to the case? I mean, you probably can't tell me who it is, but can you quantify what that means? I, I wish I would be able to give, you know, there, there's such uh, public awareness about this case. And we're, we're, you know, we're, we're, again, asking for the public's help. Look at that video. We think someone out there knows him. And I wish I could give you more detail. Just, uh, you know, again, the investigators working a lead. This wasn't the result of a tip. This is a result of evidence uh, related to the crime, leading our uh, investigators into the D.C. metro area uh, mm. where they interviewed an individual relevant to this investigation. Um, it is not a suspect, but hopefully somebody who can point us in the right direction to identifying that person who is uh, seen on camera out there in Los Angeles. But again, um, I, I want to emphasize, you know, I, I do think that someone out there recognizes him, knows who he is, and uh, the family has put up an extra ten thousand dollars on top of our ten, and now the uh, law firm for the family has announced another ten. There's thirty thousand um, dollars out there for someone to uh, help find do the right thing and tell us who he That's is. That's a good incentive, and I'm glad you mentioned the video. We're playing it again of the suspect who left the home uh, where the home invasion happened in L.A. But I have to ask you something. That door slams, and there's what I think is a male hand inside the home slamming the door. Um, on this departing um, assailant. And that makes me think that the male hand saw the face because he doesn't have a mask on. Why don't we have a sketch? I mean, didn't, weren't they able to give you some identifying qualities of this, of this now we know killer? Sure. I, and again, I, that question has been asked a lot. That is indeed a male's arm. And, and we have released, of course, there was a female that was assaulted in there. Both of them um, saw the face of this suspect. Um, and investigators have, have talked about the possibility of a sketch, but we don't have one which, you know, without going into detail, is going to say that they weren't able to provide us with enough information to go down that road. They Again, this they, video, they, when you say they, you mean L.A. couldn't give you the information or those two people, the, the I believe the minor female who was assaulted and the male who slams the door, they didn't have enough information on him to, give him a, to, to get a sketch artist to render something. Which one is it? Well, certainly, I, I don't know. Uh, L.A. is conducting their own investigation into the crime out there, which was some months back. And I don't I don't know. I can't say factually whether that was asked for or not by them at the time of that crime. Our investigators traveled to Los Angeles and went to um, that residence with the uh, Los Angeles Police Department. And those kind of th things were pursued as possible investigative leads, um, but were not able to be um, developed any further. So we don't I, have I that. Wanna, I want to help you. I want sure. that sketch on the air. I want to help you uh, help L.A. Uh, g find this guy. But oh, it's so hard with the, such a tiny piece of evidence as that ring cam. We only see the back of him. But we do see a cell phone. He's got a cell phone. So the next question, obviously, in digital forensics, what about matching pings? Whatever pinged in that neighborhood on that night, what pinged in, you know, Hartford County the, the night, the day that, uh, well, the evening that Rachel was killed? Aren't, aren't there any forensics that match? Well, I, I would say so far, you know, there's a lot of things that can be done technology and science-wise with between uh, technology there, cell phone, other devices, or the DNA, and we are working all those leads. We have a lot of people calling us, letting us know what can be done. Trust me, our investigators know what can be done. We're not, lead we're not releasing the actual investigative details, of course, 
Um, but trust me, if it's been suggested, it's it's already been I done. I believe you. We're, follow, sure. we're following these leads. I believe you. Uh, my only concern, ha having done this job for way too long, is that he's out there and we've all been told he's going to do it again. And it's been two months. So I'm fearful about the next victim. And I know that when there are exigent circumstances like that, you can jump the line in the investigations. You can jump the line in DNA. You can jump the line in the digital phone ping match. So that's why I'm asking, I why don't we have that yet? Well, no, no, I will tell you, everyone from the state police to the FBI, um, the people that we are turning to to help us with either technology or science, there is no delay in processing evidence in this case. We are getting all the cooperation necessary. Um, it's just that that hasn't identified. And none of those leads have taken us to identify that person on that video. And again, you know, we're, although we're following other leads, that video remains our best, um, best lead so far. And yeah, you're right. It's not the, the best video. It's the best we have. But someone out there off of what they see in that picture knows who that guy is. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.